Cindy's in uh, on the line from Oklahoma. Hey, Cindy. It's the oldest trick. See? Yeah. Yes, howdy. Nope, turn Hello. your TV down or we'll play a long turn game. It is. Yes, um, I was wondering about the aeration as to the growth of fish, and that's one question. The second one is, why don't you have your program on more often? <laughs> well, thank you. I, I, I passed that along to the powers that be. You never know. <laughs> now I've forgotten the first question. I, I'm free tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, got I'll the cameras. Where are you, what are you guys doing? Well, uh, aeration. I, I can I can tackle the one on aeration. Right. Air, aeration, in many ways, is more like an insurance policy, and it prevents catastrophic failures. It prevents the uh, the the, the die-offs that are possible, um, and. Uh, but secondly, if you have a situation where the fish are in marginal conditions, where they're not happy, that is to say that there's frequent uh, bouts of low dissolved oxygen, mm -hmm. then aeration definitely will make those fish happier. That's management and health, and they will eat more. Um, in fact, the last thing you want to do in a pond when they're um, under an oxygen stress because of low dissolved oxygen levels is to go out and feed them because that, um, that sudden burst of energy and uh, activity from those fish will rapidly deplete the remaining oxygen that's in there, and, and then you have real problems. So aeration is a wonderful insurance policy for virtually any pond, uh, and in ponds that are marginal with, uh, with dissolved oxygen, you certainly will see a benefit. Yes. All right.